Hey everybody, it's Friday and we are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets. And Jim, let's begin with some retail earnings. Foot Locker, is the surge justified? Yeah, it's, no, people are shorted. I mean, I think that what happened was Foot Locker wasn't horrible. They did better than expected. They have a lot of earnings power. They just are going to have down comps. And I think that when people look through the number and spend some time on it, I think they're going to come maybe take it to 43, then take it back to 37. And it's incredible to see Gap, a mall store, post a rise in comps. It sure is incredible. I'm glad you used that word. And a lot of it is Old Navy just doing incredibly well. A lot of it is uh, Athleta, by the way. They talked a lot about that. The read-through there, they said they said Athleta was on fire. That was their term. Um, read-through there is to go by Lulu. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and it's a reminder that retail is not dead yet. And you have Applied Materials on tonight. They had a great quarter. Well, Applied Materials is one of those companies that is very much in the Internet of Things. We had an interview with Chuck Robbins from Cisco today. Uh, you know, this is one where I wish my child had bought a mat. I, I know it's very good, and, uh, and Lamb Research is very good. But the main thing about Applied Materials is they have a kind of they have a business that's display, and Lamb doesn't have that, and it's very good. It's a lot of the big uh, cell phone companies use it. Uh, applied materials going much higher, not mm -hmm. higher, but much higher. You mentioned Chuck Roberts. It was to buy that if it comes in. Hmm. All right, we'll watch for those balls. Yeah. You mentioned Chuck Roberts. It was great to see him say that he would actually invest some of that repatriation money if you we know, got it. Chuck has been. Uh, remember, they have about sixty-nine billion dollars overseas. Now they have borrowed against it. Uh, they've bought a lot of stock. They have a very big dividend. But yeah, I agree with you, Scott. It, it is a very significant thing for him to say, we will reinvest in this country if the money comes back. Obviously, they will pay a higher dividend. And obviously, yes, they will buy back stock. But he did make a strong case about how he will invest in America. Now, you could say, well, he's just uh, a guy who's just shining a swan. That's not Chuck's way. He has been very deliberate, but he's also been very transparent. Uh, and if he says it, he's going to do it. Meanwhile, the NVIDIA CEO named Fortune's yeah, and that makes sense. Jensen, uh, uh, Jensen Wong's done remarkable things. Remember, he's uh, done uh, the uh, autonomous car. Uh, he's done gaming and he's done data center better than any other company. The only analogy I can think of is when Intel decided they were going to own the microprocessor personal computer business. He's a genius and he's being rewarded. It's Oregon State, by the way. My daughter lives in Oregon. Hmm. Went to Oregon State schools. And, and um, it, it's a reminder that people are, uh, yeah, there he is in Oregon coming out. It's like the people in Washington, Seattle. It's not all Silicon Valley people. <laughs> NVIDIA, Action Alerts Plus name. Yes. Let's also talk about Broadcom, another AAP name. Yes, now that. they have now completed the purchase of Brocade. Now remember, they brought, went back to the United States. I think that helped uh, the completion. But what matters is Broadcom, which big Action Alert name, is trying to buy Qualcomm. Hawk Tan, the CEO, is, I believe, going to get Qualcomm. And if he pays anything less than 80, it is going to send Broadcom stock to 350. Huh. So therefore, I think that there's a floor on Broadcom coming from the fact that its earnings were great and it's inexpensive. And the ceiling, I think, is around 350 if they get Qualcomm. Now, Qualcomm clearly doesn't want to be acquired. And another action alert holding NXPI figures in the mix. Mm. Because if Qualcomm decides to pay up for NXPI, that could cause Broadcom to get indigestion. But believe me, these are all in play. All right, a lot of moving parts there. Yes, exactly right. Jim, were you encouraged that John Flannery bought 60,000 shares of his own stock? I'm surprised that's all he bought. He's very well paid. I mean, I think that uh, it's an $18 stock. It's not like it's a $100 stock. No, I think you should have bought bigger. Huh. All right. Meanwhile, let's also talk about media. 21st Century Fox uh, reportedly now has buyers from Comcast. Comcast and actual alert stock. Uh, David Faber, when he said, listen, it's well, you already know it's, it would be stock, as would Disney be stock. Well, then I guess they're pretty far along. I, I commented that I said, if Time Warner ATT is being blocked by justice, these would be blocked. David then countered by saying, yeah, but maybe Time Warner uh, ATT sues to get this deal closed. The Justice Department has no doctrine in its favor. It seems to be justice by tweet. So <laughs> it makes a ton of sense for these companies to be able to move, particularly because Fox is overseas. Comcast has always said it wants to be overseas. I think Comcast is an exceedingly cheap stock, mm. but you know what? It's not, the cheap stocks haven't necessarily been winning unless they're heavily shorted. Uh, what's been winning is high growth, and Comcast does not offer that right now. And there's certainly talk of maybe Amazon getting into the mix here. I think everyone wants to be is defensive. We call it the Death Star. John Malone used that word. I think that Amazon is driving a lot of the activity. There's 
There's a piece by City that's a must read today about all the companies that Amazon might buy. Uh, my colleague David Faber said that perhaps this is the high water mark of what Amazon can do. Uh, all I can say is, is that Amazon's a remarkable company and why it's doing well is we all hope it buys everyone because we do think that it knows how to treat the customer. I want very much for them to buy the drugstore chain that mm. I couldn't get my prescription at because I'm sure they would give me better customer service than those people. <laughs> All right, Jim, moving away from stocks, we have a Eagles-Cowboys game on Sunday. You're ready. Yes, we do. It's America's game, and uh, you know my view is, uh, is that the Dallas Cowboys must win and the Eagles don't have to win. Uh, but I, when I saw the Cowboys in the turnstile-like offensive line they have uh, last week, I think that uh, the Eagles could prevail. Um, but I'm trying to figure out whether to play the Eagles D or the New Orleans D. I've got them both. New Orleans against Washington at home, but the Washington Redskins must do or die too, although a lot of people think they've already died. All right, Jim, we'll be watching. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Enjoy it. For more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, head over to thestreet.com.